Hello! In this video I will talk about some Laravel profiling tools. I will show you Clockwork, Laravel Telescope, Barry van den Heuvel Debug Bar and Spassi's Ray. The first thing we do is installing a new Laravel application in a folder profiling. This can easily be done via Cyan. Cyan will install your preferred version of Laravel. The version can be specified in the installer. After the installation, we copy the in example env file and generate an application key. We install Laravel sail, publish its configuration files and boot up our application via Laravel sail. This will start up four Docker containers and give us a working application on our local host. Here you see the boot up of the containers and once this is done we can boot up our browser and see that we have a working Laravel application. The next thing we do is opening our project in PHP Storm and after that we will install the tools we want to test. The first tool we install is the Bari VDH debug bar, debug bar. It's a simple composer install. You can find it in the documentation. The same is done for Clockwork. Also via a composer install that can be found in the documentation of Clockwork. Just copy paste it, run it in your terminal and you're done. The third tool we install is Laravel Telescope. Laravel Telescope is a built-in package from Laravel. Uh, it's also installable via Composer. So the package is provided by Laravel itself, so also documented on their website. And last but not least, we will install the Laravel version of Ray. This can also be done via Composer. Uh, Ray is a standalone application that has a companion Laravel backend application. So we copy the Composer install and execute it. So the four tools are installed now. So when we now refresh our application, we can see that the debug, debug bar is running. We also see that Laravel Clockwork is installed if we open our DevTools. The DevTools uh, has a companion Chrome plugin to see an extra tab in your DevTools. So you have to install that plugin first to see this. When we want Laravel Telescope to work, we need to run our mig migrations first because uh, it uses a database to store its data. Now that everything is in place, we can start uh, testing our tools. We can test if Ray is running by running the Charles command on it. This will show us a dummy message in Ray. As said, Ray is a separate application, so you have to install it first and uh, you can execute some backend logic on it that will connect to your Ray application running on your computer. So if we refresh, we see the Charles command executes something into Ray and showing you a dummy message. If you want to use Laravel Telescope, you have to publish uh, the configuration first. After the configuration is done, we can refresh and see uh, Laravel Telescope in place. So now we've tested Ray. We've tested Laravel Telescope and we've seen um, the Bari VDH debug bar and clockwork. Now, the next thing we will do is testing some uh, logic on our uh, database. So we retrieve the number of users in our database and can see in the debug bar that the query is executed. When we look into clockwork, we can also see on the database tab that there is a query executed and you can see the query time 
um, you can see the query time also in uh, in body VDH debug bar uh, and in Laravel telescope we can also see the queries that have run against our database if we want to do the same in Ray we have to enable the query log um, on Ray so we execute the show queries um, logic on Ray and when we refresh now you will see every query on your application output it into Ray so this was testing on our database now we will test the views we enable the view lock on Ray and pass a message uh, hello world to our view if we refresh our browser we will see that a message is shown in Laravel Ray or in Ray when we go to the debug bar we all can also see the data passed to our views so here you can see the message that is passed when we look into Laravel telescope we can also see the, that there is a parameter message passed to our view and when looking in clockwork we can also see here in the view tab that there is a message passed It's not so clear I'm searching for it so I cannot find it it's not so clear in clockwork where the data is visualized the next thing we will do is uh, testing mails so the first thing we do is create a mail class we name it test mail so if we have something to test we enable the mailable in Ray so we initialize that mailable uh, onto Ray and let's look what happens and the mailable could not be rendered because the view is not found so we have to specify our view in our test mail class let's see we call it test mail and we have to define test mail here and provide it with a message add it to hit okay and give it a message this is a test so when we now refresh we can see that the view is not found so I've made a mistake we don't need to specify the folder let's refresh and we see the mailable class this is a test it's a very simple now we will send out our mail via a mail provider so let's send this to my email address we specify the two and we provide the mailable that has to be mailed so new test mail okay uh, for the test mail we have to specify the from address otherwise we will get an error so we provided two and now when we refresh a mail will be sent so let's look uh, into our mail hawk uh, that is a um, local mail server that is provided with Laravel sale we can see that the mail is sent we can also see it in clockwork so here we see that the mail is sent to me uh, when we look into Laravel telescope we can also see the mail that has been sent to me okay that's good now let's provide a real mail because that simple message is a bit too simple so we give it a real mail uh, with CSS and so so let's refresh another mail will be sent so in mail hawk we can see the mail the view 
that has been sent looks very good if we look into telescope we can also see the mail looks good now when we look into ray we need to enable the lock on rail uh, on ray i guess uh, we will do it later and if we look into clockwork there is no visual representation but we can see that the mail has been sent so now for ray we will re uh, enable that lock and fake that uh, sending process so here in ray you can see um, the mail that has been sent so this was a very very brief introduction of four profiling tools they can do a lot more than i've shown here and i think i will make some uh, videos on them individually uh, later on so thanks for watching and see you uh, in a later video